so hello everyone welcome back now let us start for number 3.34 on page number 160 of griffith's electrodynamics he is saying that we need to find approximate electric field at far points from origin and express our answer in spherical polar coordinates so we need to find electric field now so here first of all we will we'll be finding uh, potential approximate potential actually so potential approximate it is given by uh, we can directly see that for monopole only a charge that is minus q will be left because this charge and this charge will cancel each other so minus q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a that is distance from the center uh, this this charge will be left so you can say that I, i'll be placing r first of all here the uh, proper distance r this will the, this will be the monopole term plus what is potential due to a, a dipole uh, this is for the monopole potential for the dipole is p cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square so this is the potential that will be using and what is p here p is just due to the uh, charge this charge q a and in which direction will the direction will be finding first of all uh, dipole moment we can we can see that minus q a minus j cap plus minus q a j cap plus q a z cap or k cap so this got cancelled we get q a k cap or z cap so this is the net dipole moment hence v becomes minus q 4 pi epsilon naught r plus q a cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square so this is the potential approximate potential due to both the terms monopole and dipole terms now we need to find electric field so electric field we very well know that it is a gradient of uh, potential and what is the formula for a gradient of potential it is del over del v over del r r cap plus 1 upon r del v upon del theta theta cap plus 1 upon r sin theta del v upon del phi phi cap i hope you remember this formula if you do uh, if you if you don't then please make sure you remember it so on putting the values here we get minus outside q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square due to gradient this r will will first of all will differentiate it plus uh, 1 upon r and the other thing is this this term also contain r over here so we'll be use, we'll be uh, differentiating this also so if we differentiate this uh, one minus sign will come and one two from the differentiation q a cos theta then r cube 4 pi epsilon naught okay now the r the differentiation with respect to r is over now let us focus on theta plus 1 upon r the differentiation is 2 q a with a negative sign sorry sin theta theta cap and these are for r cap both and 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught so this is and phi term is not present here in the potential so we will not get any phi phi term here so electric field approximate electric fields with respect to r and theta is q r r cap 4 pi epsilon naught r and one negative sign from here and one negative sign from here will become positive r square plus 2 q a 4 pi epsilon naught r cube common so we get and one r square i forgot to write here so we get two uh, sorry two will not get common we get two cos theta r cap plus sin theta theta cap so this is the approximate electric field that will get for these charges and we can see that this this electric field we already derived for dipole this is for the monopole thing so we we, we have verified our result now so that's uh, i i think this is all we need to find 
express your answer is yeah we have expressed our answer in spherical polar just when you need to remember the formula for uh, gradient thing then it, it is easy and and approximate electric field to for the at points far from the origin so these are the points far from origin are in some some position far from the origin i have considered the, the simple diagram you can make here is like this that some, suppose this is at distance this is a point p at distance r this is theta angle and perpendicular to it in the xy plane this is phi and this is x this is y and this is z this is all you need to sub, uh, if you are dealing with theory papers then just uh, write this uh, diagram first and then uh, explain it in two words and then you can derive this or else if you are building your concept then this is this is enough for you i hope so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye thank you